Heavenly Father, thank you for this 250th anniversary of acknowledging you by opening legislative bodies in America with prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving Kentucky Chaplain Joe Adams 28 years of faithful ministry to the General Assembly members and staff. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for using Mordecai Ham, whose preaching led Billy Graham to Christ and whose imprecatory prayers opened the eyes of many. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for using the first minister to pray on September 7, 1774, to open the first Continental Congress, who was guided by Psalm 35, an imprecatory prayer for the protection of our young country. Lord Jesus, please hear my similar prayer to defeat China's 100-year plan to conquer America without firing a shot. Heavenly Father, you hear the prayers of Kentuckians calling for your intervention to awaken Americans to the nation's greatest threat, the Chinese Communist Party. Today, we pray for tens of millions of Chinese families who've lost loved ones to imprisonment and death for their faith in God. Heavenly Father, I pray Psalm 35 for the Chinese Communist Party. Verse 4, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. Verse 5, let them be as chaff before the wind. Let the angel of the Lord chase them. Verse 6, let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Verse 8, let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he hath hid catch himself, and to that very destruction let him fall. I pray this prayer in the name of the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who was and is and is to come.